All right, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'd like to give all the praises, and glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors be to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful leg. Uh, this is the Aki of Mahalalia coming back with another quick little lesson through the Spirit. Um, I was kind of listening to Apostles the Hard's video about um, how the Most High is not dealing with the old, you know, how these old jakes that's into plantation Christianity and Islam and all sorts of wickedness, man, all sorts of madness. The Lord is not dealing with jakes like that, man. You know, like our grandparents that went through the civil rights movement, them jakes that refuse to call a white man a devil, you know, after they've been waterboarded, water hose, had dogs sicked on them. And them the worst type of niggas, man. You know, because for the simple fact, them jakes didn't seen it all. They didn't been through it, they didn't been through Jim Crow. They experienced all those things, but yet for whatever reason, the white man is not their devil. And you can't tell an old Negro a damn thing, man, because he's swapping down, he know. You know, them little old Negroes that smell like that fucking bot spray, man. You know, wear that old ass cologne with the turtlenecks with the fucking um, Don Wilson hat. Them old Jakes, man, you can't tell them nothing, you know? Got the little slacks on with the little. <laughs> He got the Mr. Rogers sweat on. You can't tell these jakes a damn thing. You know, like my grandpops, man, uh, he's heavy into the church. One thing I will say about dad, though, you know, about him, is the fact even though he's lost in the sauce, I believe in the spirit he know he's an Israelite because, honestly, as stubborn as he is, he have an austere spirit like a man of the Lord should have. Like he have a spirit of a prophet, but he just lost his all hell. You can't tell him nothing because he's proud. You know, and he's not quick to say that the Most High destroy you because he's real heavy into that Christian shit. You know, that's why you, it, Dad's what, 77 now? You can't tell him nothing, you know? So them old Jakes, man, that come up to the camp, but only thing you can do is really dismiss them because this Saturday we had a brief dialogue with this with this clown, this Christian dude, you know, and he had, I believe, Philippians. I, had a, I believe he had a scripture out of Philippians on his shirt. And I asked him, I said, what does that mean? And then he just totally went left field with it. Got to spewing a bunch of madness. So, you know, I cursed him out through the spirit. And I'm like, well, if you believe that, you walk the bell, you believe a Bible, you a man of God, where's your beard on your face? And he couldn't do nothing. He had to just walk down the street. He hopped in his car and left, you know? So them old tight cats, man, hey, the hell with them. Ain't no waking them dudes up, man. Because they ain't want to be woken up. They're too gone. And plus the Most High said he desired the youth. He said, I seek thee in thy youth. Like when he called the prophets, he pretty much called them at a young age. With a few exceptions here and there. But most of the brothers in this truth, they're young men. We came in as young men. I came in as a young man. And most brothers I know was in the early 20s. And you got brothers that's in their teens that the Lord has called, you know. So how much of a blessing is that? You know, you really got a, a Jake that the Lord really, you got you really got a Jake that the Lord calls in his late 40s and 50s, man. I mean, it do happen. Because you got some accounts where some brothers are up in age, you know, even though some of them been in it forever, like the apostles, they came in a young men, real young men. Apostle Tahar didn't always have gray hair. He came in as a young, young man. I believe he came in when he was 17 or 18, if I'm not mistaken. But he was a real young man. He didn't really have too much time to fuck around in the world. He came right in, you know. Apostle Akar, he came in at a young age. So this is all they know. And then, you know, like I said, you have the exception of certain men that come in in their late 40s, early 40s, you know, early 50s. But hey, that's ultimately the Lord having mercy on that man, you know. But even then, you know, the detox of men at that age, it takes a, a while for the Lord to, 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 to clean you up, man, because you still a decal, you need to be decalcified from the world. So, you know, but hey, nonetheless, man, the Lord deals with the young. All right. So this is the book of Psalms 71. And I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, O power, thou hast taught me from my youth. All right? Because the Lord desired you when you're young, when you got energy, when you're full of vigor. You know, you're full of uh, energy. You can stand out there on the streets for four or five hours and teach the world all day. You can go out there in the cold, you know, and not be tired and not be beat down. You know what I'm saying? The Lord want those able-bodied men. Like, same thing in Esau's military. They got a come-off limit. I believe... I mean, after 32 years old, I don't think you can go to the military unless they up the age. But like after 32, 33, you ain't got to register with selective service no more, you know. But if you are already an active duty or active member, hey, you could be in the military till you're 50 years old. 
you know even though they will want you to retire you may take a higher position but it's a difference they ain't gonna let a you ain't gonna become a 50 year old firefighter like because it's a very physical and strenuous job you know in some cases the fire department may let them in in their 30s in but then again you're gonna have to pass that fitness test like me prime example i'm in my 30s you know but i can become a firefighter if they open the test up i can become a firefighter because i can pass the physical part you know what i'm saying but they were like well why didn't you apply when you were younger you already been in here you see what i'm saying but an older jake in his 40s and 50s man he ain't even gonna go up for that job for what because he's not capable of doing it and it's equivalent to these older jakes out here that's all into the plantation of christianity because when you go to these churches you see a bunch of old men in there you know old men that's in their 50 60 70 sometimes 80 you know and they've been in the church since they were teenagers so they're already mentally destroyed by that plantation christianity nonsense you know and it says here thou hast taught me from my youth and hereto have i declared thy wondrous works okay it says now also when i am old and gray-headed oh power forsake me not okay because like i said the lord he don't have a pleasure in the elderly man meaning that these jakes that's in the world you know if you in the truth and you're elderly man then you know you are all good you already in it's just a matter of staying in because a lot of times with age man comes experience in the world and uh you know brothers that got experience in the truth over you you age man and the truth sometimes is it's, it's it's not always the best connection because a lot of times it'd be conflicting in personalities you know but that's all you know through the spirit and in flesh but otherwise you got these old nick rows out here these these down south pork eating jakes man them dudes ain't coming into the truth man you can forget about it because even if you teach them something they do understand they're gonna try to teach you something man you know and they don't know a damn thing that's why he says here forsake me not my power it says until i've shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come all right so he said forsake me not in my old age because hey when you up in age what use do the most high have for you you know what i'm saying and it's not to throw shade on you know elderly brothers in this thing because like i said a lot of you brothers came in at a young age like i said the apostles they came in at a young age and if the lord called you at an older age man that's some heavy mercy and you don't take that lightly man you take that and you praise your how about shimmy how was shy because he could have left you out here in the world to just be a complete reprobate you know oh and matter of fact i, I did a video earlier Going into the market of beast, looking at that staff and that serpent. I think it's the staff of Collectus, if I'm not mistaken. Selectus or something like that. I'm looking at it right now in back of the Amalams, and the spirit just gave it back to me. <laughs> That's the spirit. But anyway, this is book Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Okay? Because you got a lot of Jakes, man. Like a lot of these women, they try to come in when they all, you know, ride it out and old and got all types of hysterectomies and all types of illnesses then they want to give their life away and you see a lot of that in the christian church a lot of these old jamamas man they didn't live off the cock carousel and all of a sudden they want to get 50 years old and they want to find the lord in the damn christian church which the lord is not in the christian church okay and i can guarantee you that it says remember now thy creator in the day of thy youth when the evil days come not right nor when the years draw nigh when thou say i have no pleasure in them right so don't be waiting when you get older to say, look, I'm going to try to seek the Lord now. And this is why the most I don't deal with the uh, with the older jakes like that, man. Because like we was watching a video earlier of the man that was coming up trying to debate the camp. Like, my dude, if you don't know none of if you don't know nothing about Israel, how the hell are you going to speak on something you don't know nothing about? Like if I ask a guy about MMA and I say, what's a snap kick? What's a roundhouse? What's a side kick? What's a spinning? Uh, what is a spinning heel kick? You know, what's a tornado kick? Or what is a rear neck and choke or, choke or arm bar? All right, or uh, 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 what is it called? The uh, the rear neck and choke or the cross face hold. If I ask you what those moves are and you cannot tell me, how in the hell are you gonna tell me about MMA when you don't even know, man? You know, cause only a fool would speak on something you don't really know. And that's a lot of these older jakes. You know, they, they, they and that's their pride. You know, because they feel like since they're older, Man, I've been, I, I, man, I've known about that before you were born, youngster. Man, shut up, man. Damn, what you knew, motherfucker. What, what these scriptures talking about? You know, cause you older jakes, you glory and gloat on the fact that you lived a, a longer, wicked lifestyle than brothers that's in the truth. 
That ain't nothing to gloat on. Give a damn about what you did. You know, that's why you ain't in the truth now. You know, are you in a Christian church eating porks, man? Got a nigga that's 66 years old eating a fucking pizza puff, man. What the hell wrong with you? You know? Oh, uh, I lived that before. Okay, good. Good for you. You want a cookie, motherfucker? Put the damn dentures in your mouth, man. Get out of here somewhere. Anyway. This is the book of Jeremiah 1. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 4. It says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay? Then said I, Lord Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. So he dealt with him when he was young. He said, But the Lord said unto me, <laughs> Say not that I am a child, for thou should, it says, For thou should go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shall speak. Okay? So he said, Look, man, I don't get down how young you are, Mark. Look, you're going to go out there and you're going to talk to these people. Okay? Because he tried to get out of it. He said, Man, what are you talking about? I'm too young. I can't be going out here to speak to you. He was a young man. I bet Jeremiah was a, a young, young man when the Lord called him. He didn't really have no time to fuck around in the world and bullshit. He was called at a young age. You know? <laughs> so. That's all he known was being a prophet. That's all he ever knew. He came in at a very young age, you know? And like I said, you got some brothers that was called into this thing when they were 12 years old. I remember the little, little Yaiqua man from, uh, I believe from the Chicago camp. That little brother was out there before he was 12. He was out there with us holding posts, man. You know, and that Yaiqua was probably like, I think 20, 21, not the, probably 20. He's, he's in his 20s now, if not early 20s, but I remember Yaiqua, man, he was out there at a young age. He was a little baby, man. He didn't know what the hell was going on, but he just know he was around the brothers. You know, he called him at a young age and the brother's still in this thing today, you know, which is a beautiful thing. And that's the spirit of the Lord, you know? So think about it. The Lord ain't calling you old Jakes, man, because for one thing, you're incapable. Second of all, you're full of pride and full of uh, uh, maliceness, man. You have no particular uh, rigor about yourself, you know? You're just old and bitter and you can't do the work. You can't take the elements, you know? So, hey, the Lord calls young, able-bodied men into the truth, okay? Like I said, I came in when I was young, you know, and I'm still young, <laughs> you know? But um, I came in when I was a lot younger, a young, young man. In my early 20s, I came in the truth, you know? And brothers got the same uh, the same testimony, you know? Most brothers I count with came in in their early 20s, you know? Because, wait, we're able to do it. We're able to do the work, all right? So, um, anyway... Let me find one more precept here. I've made the point. This is just something I really wanted to speak on. It said new wine, old bottles. You know, because like I said, man, you Civil War Jake. I mean, you Civil Rights era Jakes, man. You refuse to say the white man is the devil. He ain't my devil. But yet you Jakes were the main ones getting totally beat down by Esau. You know, totally being beat down by Esau, being chased home by dogs. You know, being snatched out the house. You know, you Emmett Till era Jakes, man. The white man has done more to you physically than he ever done to us. But yet, you Jakes, you can't seem to see or find any type of animosity or hatred with this devil. Well, man, you can't say that, that everybody is the devil. Motherfucker, are you that damn brainwashed? You lived through the era when you were getting your rods chopped off, getting sick dogs sicked on you. You know, colored only bathroom. You're living in the most pissy conditions. And the white man showed you he was the devil then. But yet you get a Christian nigga and try to tell him the truth, man. He's going to look at you like you're crazy. That's why the scriptures say, Cast ye not your pearls before swine, not give, nor give what is holy unto the dogs. And he was talking about Israelites. Okay? So anyway, this is the book of uh, Matthew 9 and 16. It says, No man put it a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up, take it from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Okay? So it's just like, a lot of times, man, it's just like saying having an old pair of clothes, man, and you rip it up and put some new thing. You just need to buy it all new. There's no point in mixing old fabric with new fabric because it ain't going to do nothing but corrode the other fabric, man. You know? That's why it says here, neither do men put new wine in old bottles. Like, that's stupid. If I go to the store and I buy an expensive, uh, expensive fifth of whiskey or some Christian Brothers or something like that, why in the hell would I come back and put it in an absolute bottle, man, that's been sitting on top of the fridge for two years? Why the hell would I do that? 
Do I like the Absolute bottle that much to the point I got to put the new wine in there? Hell no, man. That Absolute bottle was absolute, is, is obsolete, you know? And it says here, neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. That's right. New bottles, man, going into the youth of this truth. That's why the scriptures say, uh, remember the do of thy youth, man, because, hey, the Lord is going to raise us back up and we're going to have those young bodies again. You know, unfortunately, brothers just had to go through, you know, the uh, uh, the engagement of getting older in this kingdom. But, hey, through the spirit and power, how about Shimei, how was shy, man? Hey, the Lord is restoring all that. OK. Um, matter of fact. Yep. Yeah, but anyway. That's all I wanted to say. Giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about Shimi? How was shy? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And with that, Shalom and a bubble ball.